Desires. <laughs> and they're all the same continuing story. Yeah, I have written more words than the entire Chronicles of Narnia, more words than the Lord of the Rings as Horseborn. Words <laughs> well spent. Essentially, it was um, exploring the characters, and it started out as basically clopping short stories. And then the personality started getting involved because my Rainbow Dash was polyamorous, and my Apple Jack was not quite polyamorous. Which is and of course Pinkie Pie was polyamorous, but was also very empathic and very concerned about hurting Apple Jack's feelings and taking care of every pony. And it just got more and more complicated and just kept going that way for more than 500,000 words. So, I don't know, if you run out of your uh, After Dark fix easily, there's a place to go. <laughs> and, yes, book players. Oh, God. Oh, teases me about, um, oh, teases me about, um, I knew you were going to think of an idea for a fifth book. You gotta give me a couple of weeks after I get back from DornyCon because I'll be exhausted. <laughs> I have to get on Mondays, chapter on Monday generally, by the way. And onward. Uh, yeah, again, I go by uh, Sleepless Brony. I wrote Romance Reports, which is kind of old news by now. <laughs> and um, these days I'm writing Ponyville University. It's you know, slow going, but it's coming along. Yeah. And you know, some other little shorter, minor stuff. <laughs> um, I'm O, and I wrote my first pick, uh, which is Dirty Little Philly, as a response. Hold on. As a response <laughs> to the Polcon that's always in the feature box, and I was like, you know what? There's there are ways that consenting adults can you know, express that sort of thing. And I also liked the idea that, uh, that putting makeup over a cutie mark is the pony equivalent of wearing a little girl outfit. So, um, my second pick was The Riding Pony. Was the riding pony uh, I should have gotten a cheer, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> of a self-mindset in a BDSM relationship between Rainbow Dash and Applejack. And then my third pick was uh, Sex, Lies, and Cow Pony Hats, which was kind of a longer story uh, about the idea of Applejack having to become a prostitute to make some extra money, but I wanted to take a very positive view of sex work and have it not be this degrading thing that's, you know, you know, she doesn't become a cheap whore, she goes to her cousin Marmalade's escort service and, uh, It's heartwarming. Yes. It's really, it's really heartwarming. I mean, mine get that way too sometimes. So, uh, that's what I've written before and I just, I have another account that someone might have oh. And I just recently published my first adult fic on that account because Are you need this? No, it's okay. Uh. <laughs> because it ended up being uh, it was gonna go on my own account, but it ended up being twenty two thousand words of story and three thousand words of uh, sex. And I kind of thought, you know what, that's enough story that I can put it on the other account. Yes. <laughs> the other account. And it did very well and got featured in all yes, kinds it did. of stuff. <laughs> What's the other account? Hmm? What's the other account? Oh, uh, <laughs> don't remember, I'm not going to remind you again. <laughs> uh, the story is Maiden's Day. So. That one, yeah. 
<laughs> so that's basically what we do. Now what we'd like to do for the remaining 20 minutes or so that we got is talk about some craft type stuff. Because that's we really need to be doing that. We can't be doing readings from our face. As much fun as that might be, <laughs> as entertaining as it might be, it would take a long time for some of us to read all of our face. <laughs> Yeah, we would yes. like to talk about the craft and things, and we can certainly take audience questions, but we'd like to hear audience questions about craft and things, and help you actually do this kind of stuff like it's an art form and do it up properly. Like, we've got various notes here, like, I had one there on changing up words. It's really hard in this genre to avoid stuff echoing. How many different words for certain parts can you actually come up with and have it seem natural? Oh, I'm sure God. some of you have run into this problem before. These words there, are helpful. Yeah. There is a guy on Tim Fiction, uh, Wabajack, and he has compiled a list. I, it is on his blog on his user page, that's Wabajack, a list of all the words for this sort of thing that we, that we could think of to uh, several of us put together. And uh, that's awesome. It is, and it is so useful. <laughs> so I recommend. Point one out. Anyone Just interested, one. Interested, check that out. Oh, uh, we got a question already. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't a question. Just uh, there was one on xenophilia that they kept coming up with synonyms for big Macintoshes. Yeah. Problem was. Was I not allowed to say that? It's Richard. Oh, okay. But yeah, they they were. Uh, he was having problems actually having a relationship because of how big he was. That he couldn't actually have a you know actual mature relationship with women, and it. That's a they wanted conflict to work. Yeah, they wanted to. Right uh, so they put up like a blog page of you know, uh, or a little post on one of the groups talking about you know all the, uh, you know like synonyms, and they just filled it with these horrible like synonyms for that, and the one that just kept popping up was apocalyptic tube steak. I like that. I like that actually. That sounds. That, sounds that would be a good metal band. <laughs> okay, we're not actually going to spend the entire yeah. panel in question and answer center, question and answer session, going over those interesting metaphors. Although there is always schools and sofas, we can hang out and compile lists there anytime you want. You can take some more questions, I suppose. Yeah, you and the yellow. Uh, a quick one for Stoner Shy. Do you like hurting other people? I don't remember like what he says in the video game. So no, he doesn't so say anything. Oh, then never mind. Is. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still left to write, I guess. Uh, my well, movies. Back there. Out of the following, which would you find most acceptable in term for, uh... Mm. Yeah. Careful. Careful, because we can't actually see people. A Sphinx Spangler or a Didgeridoo? <laughs> what? What is this question? <laughs> Talking about uh, uh, 
you probably I think for talk. questions like that, you know, we can. I'll be hanging out after the panel if you want to get at me. We can go into detail. Are we talking? I can. I can try to figure out. Are we talking about basically a situation where it seems to go on a long time and you've got emotional development happening? Well, I mean, like one specific scene, like. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't want to look. All right, Aaron, yeah, might as well go on. You can get at me afterwards. Um, yes, I will. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. Uh, sorry, I don't want to sound like a brush. You know, we've got a lot of hands up. Yeah, so. we do. You and the half of the feather. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, two very quick. One is actually very quick. Uh, Ed, 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 do any of you are fans of Spike? Um, in what context? Chris <laughs> 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 like Spike in general, not in any of the way we're talking about. Uh, he's, I guess, a cool guy. Yeah, he's, he's right. okay. Well, since Good you kid. asked first, you get it. I have fun art I wish to give people. Oh, oh no. no. You get the fun one for this one. Yeah, you probably can't show that to people. Oh, we can. <laughs> The basic gist of it. Um, I write Spike as a kid, which the ponies want to, to some extent, shelter from all that kind of stuff. But he's also a dragon, he's no fool, and he has a sort of jaded and ironic view of all that stuff. It's like, oh god, you, you, you ponies are up to that again, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. right, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's doing about, Because y'all write stories that are often questionable. You probably get a lot of hate mail all the time from certain fans. Not really. Do those actually <laughs> inspire you to keep going because you just think it's hilarious, like I personally do? Or do you, is it actually a deterrent to you write it? I love this question. I've, I've been bouncing off of this one um, pretty much all con long because the haters always seem to come up. I think, and it's easy to notice in our genre, that if you're doing anything that is really specific, you're going to get about 10% honestly seriously um, legitimate haters. Like they're not just being trolled, but there's people who are genuinely offended and upset. And if you're doing anything specific and daring and audacious, you should be getting about one in 10 outright haters, or you're not doing it right. <laughs> the flip side of it is that you're probably also going to get one out of 10 that are a raving mad fan, and those make it all worthwhile. The thing about the haters is, it's not reasonable to blame people for not liking what you like. What I, the way I like to react to that is basically being like, well, I'm sorry that you don't like it. Tell me a little bit more about why you feel the way you feel because maybe I'm missing something because I'm not you. And you might be spotting something that will help me do what I want to do a little bit better. And you still won't like it. But I've done a little thing with it. Generally, though, if you write a 5,000 word thing and someone reads every single word of it and then says, oh, I hated this, I don't know why I wrote this, I don't like your fetish, I'm like, okay, well, you can hit yourself with a dick with a hammer, but you don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a push the back button at any time, man. Why would you stick around? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't tell you to read it. Because my time is worthless. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I've definitely... Uh, wanted to write things and post things out of spite. <laughs> it, was <long laughs> it was you, you're the one who's been doing all the news. Yeah. <laughs> Risk with the white paint on? Uh, that's you. That's my skin color. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's my friend. We were, hang we were hanging out with him. Oh, he right. himself because we like this guy. Sorry. We no, like this guy. Ask the question. He's cool. It's funny. Anyway, um.